this is into the fire. I'm so excited to welcome to Into the Fire, this solid and talented defender, Port Power's next generation academy's elite player, Lockie Jones. Nice to meet you, Lockie. Thanks for having me, Liam. You too. Okay. You grew up in Butte. Having been there a few times, I'm sure you played a lot of sport. Because let's be honest, there ain't too much else to do. What sports did you play growing up? And what was the young Lockie Jones like? Yeah, as a kid, just grew up playing footy and basketball. Um, those were my two main sports. And as a young kid, basketball was a bit more important to me than footy. And then um, when I turned about 14 or 15, footy became a bit more important, moving, starting to play footy in Adelaide. And um, yeah, since then, footy's been pretty much my life. But um, yeah, as a young kid, was always pretty sporty and, um, around the place and filled in for tennis or cricket here and there. But um, yeah, basketball and footy were my main two. Yeah, sports are great. You must be going well, because Kane Corn said good things about you, and he doesn't say anything positive. Actually, everyone I've spoken to rates you so highly as a person. The ultimate team man is what they say. With, with such leadership skills and work ethic, do you aspire to being a captain one day? Yeah, I guess that's that's probably a, a, thing, a goal for a lot of kids, is, is to not only play footy or AFL, um, but to captain a side. And, yeah, wouldn't mind that in time to come, but um, yeah, I guess for the time being, I just want to play AFL and um, yeah, see how we go. But yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, it would be good to be the captain. You've been playing for league footy for the Eagles. Jay Sheedy is your coach, and he says you're a ripper. It must give you great confidence moving forward when your senior coach has so much faith in you. Yeah, I guess it's good. Jade's obviously new to the club and. Um, yeah, he's been really supportive and he's given me the opportunity to play league footy every every game so far. So, um, yeah, he's definitely been big in my development this year and, and helping me transition to, to hopefully AFL footy next year. But, um, yeah, first impression with Jade was, was good and, um, yeah, nothing's changed since, since day one I met him. So, no, nah, I, I really like Jade. Yeah. You have that rare ability to play on both tall and small forwards at 187 centimetres you're built for AFL already. Move forward five years. What do you see being the role you want to do in the AFL? Um, I think now it's still a defending uh, half back is probably one of my main roles, and I think that'll probably be similar moving forward and hopefully into an AFL career. But um, yeah, wouldn't mind you know having a go at other positions in the middle or up forward. Um, but yeah, I guess like to play sort of anywhere and, and like you said you can play on taller and smaller people so um, yeah I guess that's a, a little attribute of mine which, which might help me. Yeah. Port Power have the first choice on you and I know you won't say it but they will take you. They are an awesome club. What would it be like to play for the Power if you're lucky enough to get picked? Uh, that would be a dream come true. So I grew up supporting Port all my life in, in a household of Crow supporters, so um, yeah, day one been Port, and obviously, yeah, that's that's the number one go to place. And I mean, they've had a ripper year this year, and hopefully, can go all the way, which would make it even more special um, to move into a club like that. And um, yeah, Port's got a really good culture, and been in there a few times and met some of the players, which has been good. And um, yeah, it's sort of starting to feel a little bit like a, a home to me, but yeah, I guess there's still that opportunity to go somewhere else. and at the end of the day, we have to go anywhere, but yeah, Port's, Port's the go-to, I reckon. Yeah, they're an awesome club. You've been likened to West Coast Shannon Hearn. Is he someone that you have watched? And do you model your game on anyone? Yeah, I watch a little bit of Shannon Hearn. Um, he's probably not my, my most watched player. I watch a fair bit of Heath Shaw and, and Darcy Byrne-Jones. Um, yeah, looking, I'll probably pick those two and sort of focus on them a bit more. But yeah, looking at Shannon Hearn, it's probably some things that I do similar to him and uh, moving forward he was probably one I'll keep watching even even if I do play AFL. Um, he's obviously a very experienced player and he's, and he's a good defender so um, yeah Darcy Burn jones and Heath Shaw are two that I've, I've mainly watched um, over the last probably 12 months as you know both defenders and uh, Heath Shaw's a pretty big boy and um, yeah likes to run and kick and that's pretty much the same as Darcy Burn jones likes to rebound the ball and um, yeah I guess they're all pretty similar to what, to what I like to do. Yeah, they're great defenders. You're a proud Indigenous player, and I've interview interviewed some great Indigenous players. What does it mean for you to represent your culture on such a big stage as the AFL? Yeah, it'd be pretty, pretty big for me. Um, I guess, uh, or, sorry, my 
on my dad's side of the family, his his mum passed away earlier in the year, and she was she was our connection to the indigenous side. So um, yeah, I guess to get drafted this year would be pretty big, um, especially for for that side of the family and um, to represent a part of the Northern Territory that. Um, I'm not too sure if it is representing the AFL or not, but um, yeah, that, that's pretty special to me and something that I'll hold closely. Yeah, that is special. People say you're very relaxed off the field, but very business-like on the field. Do you feel that being so relaxed outside of football has helped you cope with the attention of the draft this year? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty relaxed. Um, don't let too much bother me. And, yeah, I guess you don't want to overthink the drafts and stuff like that too much, otherwise it will start to overtake your footy. And um, yeah, I like to be like to be pretty pretty businesslike on the field, but sometimes you have to be pretty laid back and have a bit of fun. Otherwise, you know, you might not enjoy it as much. But um, yeah, I guess being relaxed off the field has helped me um, deal with everything, all the media and stuff like that. Which um, yeah, it, it's not not a big issue. Yeah, being relaxed is definitely a good trait. All right, let's lighten that up for a bit with some easy questions. If you own a racehorse, what would you call it? Um, that's a good question. I like to watch a few of the horses with a couple of mates, but um, maybe something to do with home, with like the um, the Butte, Butte, something like that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I have had thoughts about it, but yeah, Butte, Butte's the first one that comes to my head. Oh, yeah. What, me what meal would you choose to eat if you could eat anything you want? Um, if it was a cold meal, watermelon. Watermelon is my favourite yeah, fruit. Um, it's got to be it's got to be in the right season, but that's definitely number one. Um, and for a cooked meal, probably have to be either spaghetti bolognese or uh, probably a, a lamb roast. Uh, they're both pretty good and. Um, yeah, Dad cooks a pretty, pretty mean feed at home. Yeah, I wouldn't mind any of those things. If you can have any AFL player around the team, who would you choose? Um, being a Port man, Travis Boat would probably definitely be one. Um, he's, you know, he's he's had that captain's role at, at Port and experienced player, and yeah, I would pick his brains a lot, and probably to the point where he'd get annoyed. So, um, yeah, he he definitely one and. Probably a younger one like like Connor Rosie or, or Zach Butters, um, you know, who have experienced sort of everything that could potentially happen to me in the next few months. But um, yeah, those those two probably two big ones. Um, but outside of that, I guess that the fan favourite either sort of Dustin Martin or Patrick Cripps are um, liked by a lot of people. Yeah, any of those would be cool. What sporting event would you choose to go to given the opportunity? Probably either uh, an NBA playoff game or an NFL Super Bowl. Um, yeah, probably two of the biggest sporting finals uh, in the world, and um, it'd be a pretty surreal experience. And I was lucky enough to go to the AFL Grand Final last year, and that was big. But yeah, I can imagine NFL and NBA would, would be massive, being a worldwide sport, and a lot of people and um, a lot of good players. Yeah, that would be awesome. If you were able to be a superstar in any other sport, what would you choose and why? Um, table tennis, I reckon. Oh, yeah. yeah, a lot of players uh, at the footy clubs are, are pretty handy at table tennis, but that's something that I like watching, especially at the Olympics there. They stand back and they really hit it. Um, yeah, that's something I wouldn't mind being professional at because uh, it's sort of a skill that everyone sort of has. But to be able to beat everyone else would be, would be pretty good, I reckon. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool going to mate's house and smashing it. Last question. Your house is falling down and your family and pets are out. You can save one thing. What do you choose? Um, I don't really know. Uh, I've got a few few items at home that mean a bit. Um, probably probably got to take some of my clothes over everything. Um, there's a few sentimental things that uh, that I'll, I would have to take in there all in one box in the house, so that that definitely number one, um, and then clothes number two. Yeah, um, yeah, like, like what I mean, clothes. clothes are pretty. Important. Yeah, like, they are. <laughs> yes. No one leads into the fire, mate, without a tip from me. You're a super defender and can shut down the best forward. Yeah, that's great, but I don't really care about that. I just love the goals, and as a defender, there's nothing more exciting than banging a long-range goal. 
You kick 60 metres and you run off the half back. A perfect combination for my program. So in your first AFL game, grab that ball and bound away. Don't look around, don't pass off. Stare, stare at those big sticks and head for home. The crowd will go nuts and players will come from everywhere. Push them away, stand and deliver them into the fire. Do you want to give that a go? Alright. Once together? Alright, All right, three, two, one. Awesome. I'll definitely give that one a crack. Yeah, definitely. I can't thank you enough, Lockie, for meeting me today. You're an absolute legend and such a great footballer. I can't wait to hear your name called out on the draft night. Thanks again, mate. Thanks for having me, MJ.